Why did you bring your friend Leslie here? I brought my friend Leslie here to get to the bottom of her shady relationship. Okay. We were friends for five years, and then out of nowhere, she sprung on me that her boyfriend just got out of jail. Okay. Mind you, I have saw her go through so many bad relationships, and her last one was so heartbreaking. She was depressed, and it was just a lot to see her lose self-esteem. Mm. And she's beautiful. And I just think she deserves better. So when was it exactly that you first found out about this guy in jail? Four months ago. Four months ago. Four months ago, yeah. she told me, she came to my house. She was like, I got to tell you something. She told me my boyfriend just got out of jail. I said, girl, what boyfriend? Yeah. I was with you all this time, and now you're telling me you got a boyfriend in jail? Why do you think jail? she hit it? I don't know. She thinks I'm, she told me, well, you're judgmental, but that's uh -huh. not the point. You just got out of a bad relationship. I love how she didn't deny it. Right. <laughs> she just said that's not the point, right. okay? It's, it's true, okay. because she just, I mean, I'm, she just got out of a bad relationship. This guy literally broke her heart. And now you're telling me that you have a guy in prison? Yeah. And you've been with him and you love him? Got it. So I kind of feel like, she just, like, was using me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, you wanted her to take a lie detector test. Yes, I brought her here today to take a lie detector test to get to the bottom of the truth. Because you want to know exactly what. Right. I want to know if she met this guy on a prison site. Because they have these sites now where I don't know how these guys do it, uh -huh. but they go on Instagram, they meet these girls, they soup their head up, and they use them for their money. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, she never mentioned this guy in all the five years we've been friends. Yes, And I she has it. a type. You know, I mean, she likes bad boys, but not prison boys. Like, mm. I'm, like, totally shocked. No, I'm serious. I'm totally shocked. Yeah. And I want to get to the bottom of it. Like, What's I, up? If, look, if she can't keep it real with me, I don't want to be friends with her anymore. I understand that. And so, that's the truth. So talk to me about your most recent encounter with Leslie. My what most happened? recent encounter with her was the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. I felt like, okay, I want to be the bigger person. A new year is coming in. I don't want to bring no bad energy in. Mm -hmm. So I called her up, and I'm like, hey, bitch, because that's how we talk, yeah. you know? And she's like, don't bitch me. What the you think I forgot? Yada, yada, yada. I mean, she was very belligerent. She went off. She went off, okay? And at that point, I'm like, well, bitch, and then her sister, <laughs> Her sister came and took the phone. And she's like, what's going on? I'm like, she mad at me over this jailbird, girl. Did the sister know about the jailbird? Yeah. So the sister knew. So she, she's clearly telling people she decided she not to tell you. She just didn't tell me. What happened when at your home? Oh, my God. OK. I didn't want to meet the guy, OK? Uh -huh. But she's like, come on, please. I want you to tell me what you think. Come on, I want your support. Can you just meet him, tell me what you think? Yeah. So I was like, OK, bring him over for dinner. Let me tell you what happened when he came over. What? The dude, can, can I demonstrate for yes, you? Yes, demonstrate. This is the truth. His pants was hanging like down to here with the whole belt thing. Uh -huh. And he had a six pack of beer in his hand. I opened the door, I'm standing. He walks right past me with the beer. <laughs> Goes in my refrigerator. Didn't wash his hands. Like you and I just said hello, yeah. never said hello, and put the ref his beer in my refrigerator. At that point, my head spinned around like Linda Blair on The Exorcist, yeah. and I just went in. I'm like, are you kidding me? You gonna bring this jailbird, no manners to my house? I'm like, you went in my refrigerator. Yo, I have OCD. <laughs> Yeah. I have OCD. No, it's, it's just manners. You, you, the first time you're in my no house, manners. you speak, you speak to me. Right. And then you ask me if you want my, can go right. on my fridge. And there's a deeper level, which I understand your concern. I mean, obviously, I want to hear um, Leslie's side. But from your concern, I get it. I know the answer to this. But I, I want to get it from your perspective. Why are you so invested in this? I'm invested because I've seen her go through you, so yeah, many you're tired heartbreaks. Of her being hurt, yeah. And when I tell you, my friend is, I'm almost in tears. She is such a beautiful person, and she does not deserve this. Got it. Well, and it's just see. hurtful. And I'm like, listen, I just want the truth today. Yeah. I, I want the it. truth. I hear it. I hear it. Well, let's every, um, everyone, let's see what Leslie has to say about all this. So everyone, please welcome Leslie to the show. <laughs> And my whole thing with you, Leslie, is we've been friends for five years. You never, ever once said anything about this. So how do you expect me to feel? How long you and the dude was together? 
Or are you still together? Yes. Okay. And how long have y'all been together? Um, for four years. Okay. So four years. I appreciate you saying that you can understand her point of view. Four years, we're supposed to be friends. I've seen you in bad situations. And now you held something back from me. So you can see why she would be a little upset. Yes. But I also understand you. You're saying that you feel judged by her often. Mm -hmm. I'll be real with you. You did say right before I came out, when you said the judgmental part, you said, yeah, you can agree you're judgmental. Yeah, I am. But only, and the only reason I'm judgmental is because the stuff that she tell me just don't make no sense. Got it. It doesn't. Got it. I'm not going to tell her what she want to hear. I'm a real friend. Okay? okay? I'm a real friend. I'm not going to tell you, oh, it's okay. I know he was in prison. But People how are you being my real friend? I need you to be there and I need you to be supportive. Girl, I don't need you to do the extra stop. and all of that stuff. Good no. boy. Stop. Okay? That's our other friend. No, mm -hmm. but for real. Yeah. Come on, stop. Why couldn't you tell me this? Why did you wait? Until he came home Because from I didn't jail. want this. I didn't want this energy. It was, it is, I've been hurt already so much by other people. I needed you. And I didn't need you to be negative. I didn't need you to say things. I was going through a lot. So right now, all I need is you. If, like, this is the only way. This is the only way. Like, I need your support. Just give it a chance. He's not I gave a it bad a a He's not a bad house, person. Leslie. You're just judging him because he's in jail. Leslie, he came to my house and went into my refrigerator, girl. <laughs> didn't say hello to me or nothing. I did, I did hear that, 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 that he came in the house disrespectful. Did he actually do those things? I think he was... Tell the truth. <laughs> Tell the truth, Leslie. <laughs> she know he did. I think he was just, like, playing with her. He's a sage. So I think he was just trying to see how... Not walking he... somebody's house playing? Okay. And, then, and saying hello, that's playing with somebody? I was minding my business. You was minding your business. Okay, okay. But after I cursed his jailbird ass out. See, come on. He's a jailbird to me. Uh -huh. That's the, he doesn't have any manners, no. Leslie. Was he don't he, even know me to be playing he with made me like a, that. You're absolutely correct. You're absolutely right. That, I'm not even going to go yeah, back and forth. Okay. That was, mm -hmm. you know, he definitely did attempt to call her and apologize because she did, she kicked him out. Um, <laughs> which I don't, I was just sitting right there. She and what did you do? You left right behind him. This my man. I got his back. If you don't want to support him, I'm out. Leslie, where is this guy right now? Where's your man right now? He's in jail. What? <laughs> this man is in jail? Oh, yeah. my God. Are you kidding me, Leslie? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding. So this is a career for him? No, it's not a career. He's a, um, a prison entrepreneur. That's what he is. Okay. You're so disrespectful. Are you kidding me? I'm not disrespectful. Okay, Leslie. Oh, oh let, me, let me ask I you this, know. and this is this is all sincerity, Leslie. Oh my God. Why are you still with him if he's in jail? Lord have mercy. Last night. Okay, he's in jail. Like. Okay. But I'm gonna ask you sincerely. Oh, he's why are you still a, with him if he's in an jail? an amazing person. Yes, he made mistakes, but he's been there for me spiritually, emotionally, mentally. How long is he in jail for this time? A few years. A few years. Yeah. Well, okay. what is he but, in jail for? That's what I want to know. Do you want to disclose why he's in jail this time? Drugs and guns. Oh, okay. my God. So when you say a few years, are you talking about nine years, ten years? No, based no, on no, 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 no. Like, less than five years. Okay. If he wasn't worth it, I wouldn't... In... You should know me better than that. Girl, I thought I knew you better than that, but I don't know yeah. who you are right now. <laughs> And that's the truth. I don't know who you are. Ever since you introduced me to this guy, your you. whole persona has changed. I want you to tell me a little bit about your relationship. Before we got into a relationship, we were the best of friends for a very long time. We built the foundation on being best friends. Um, he's My whole family knows him. Um, they all love him and adore him. And Did we you, just, can you let me talk? Did I say something? <laughs> Did I say something? I didn't You're say anything. You're so extra. Just shut up. No, no. And just you, let me talk. I hope you can talk some sense into her today. Mm -hmm. I'm seriously, because she oh, has I got her sense. whole life ahead of her. She's beautiful. She deserves so much more. I swear it's making me emotional. This is ridiculous. Okay. Simona, you wanted Leslie to take a lie detector test because you want to know if Leslie met her boyfriend, Terrell, on a prison, on a prison website. And has um, she really been with him this time? Like, because it's really well, like... Well, Leslie said she did not meet Terrell on the prison site, and I think it's time that we get to the truth of this matter. <laughs> well, listen, the truth is in this envelope. You want to know if she met the man she's been dating on a prison site, and here it goes the truth. The truth is, 
that Leslie did not meet him on a prison site. So she has been telling you the truth. So you just like these type of men? No, I don't. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm baffled. Okay. So I gotta tell you this, I'm gonna tell you this, because I gotta step in here. There's two pieces. Um, there's two things that are going on right here, because you came here, we got the truth of this matter, but there's a bigger, there's a bigger symptom and a bigger situation that's happening in this relationship. You first, I'm gonna start with you. You said to talk some sense into her. I'm actually gonna talk some sense into you first. Okay. Because at this point, I understand your protective nature. I understand the love that you have for your friend. But I also understand that in friendships, sometimes we also always don't need our friends to comment on what to do or who they should be doing it with. <laughs> and that's the truth. At this time, she's telling you very clearly that I'm hiding this because I feel like you're gonna judge me. And that's the worst thing for any friendship. Your friend is telling you she feels judged. And if you keep judging her, she's gonna move away and you're gonna end a friendship. And I saw your emotion earlier. I know you love this girl. But she keeps telling me, like, if, just don't tell me. Just leave me out of it then. Great, let me tell you something. That's all I was gonna go to her then. Okay. But I need you to understand your piece, that even if she tells you, it's not your invitation to tell her that she's right or wrong. It's your invitation just to listen. Okay? <laughs> That's it. So. Now that you got that truth, I do believe you owe her an apology. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not believing you, okay? You know that I love you. Like, you're like one of my best, best, best friends. We do everything together. We do everything together. When yeah. we go out to eat, we fight who's gonna pay the bill. Yeah. When we go it. get our nails done, she sneak up there and pay the bill so I, before I sneak up there. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I miss that, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So and you're I, apologizing now for not... I'm apologizing for not giving you a chance to explain to me how happy you are with this guy. Good job. <laughs> it's a step. I, I can already tell her energy. It's I can the, tell her energy. It's the shade it's after a, the apology. It's, a, it's the shade and I caught it. I caught it. But I think y'all know each other enough yeah, to know that. Yeah, yeah. You know that. I, you know I, I don't mean any harm to you. And you know I miss you, bitch. I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> but with that being said, she's right. You have been constantly telling her about your issues. You have included her in, in being a support system in your life. And when you've done that to somebody, the bond does get closer and you ripped it away. And I do believe that's where you owe her an apology. Because it's like, I asked you to be there for me, you showed up, and then I pulled back. Which can feel like betrayal. Can you apologize for that? You better say that. <laughs> yes, I'm waiting. You know what? I'm... <laughs> I apologize for everything. Um, I can understand how that was hurtful to you. I just wanted you to understand a little bit where I, why, where that came from, but it definitely, I wasn't expecting this, honestly, and I do miss you, so I'm yeah. sorry. So the next time you won't withdraw? Yes. Got it, okay, good. But with that being said, if I can give you now on top for this man, you saw we all went up for you when you walked out here. Girl, you are beautiful and stunning. I've heard you speak. You are clearly intelligent. Thank you. And Thank you. I wish I had more time to go a little bit deeper with you because there's something about the hurt you receive from these other men in your past relationship that having a man that is at a distance gives you false security. Because what's happening right now is he's not out in the streets, so you ain't gotta worry about him cheating. You ain't gotta worry about him doing all this mm -hmm. stuff because you know where he is. And that false control makes you feel like, well, then this could be something I could grow with. But the thing is, is that's not gonna be healthy enough for, for you me. or what you deserve. And I'm not gonna question how long you decide to stay and support this man, but I would say for you to like look at the healing that needs to happen from those past relationships so you can really look at what you deserve in this moment. I am currently doing it, and thank good, you. Good, I can't tell you. That girl, you. she deserves a billionaire, honey, yeah, not do. nobody sitting behind bars, and I'm not yeah. judging you. Yeah. I'm not judging you. Yeah, no, I heard that one. That was encouragement. Right. Yeah, but I also appreciate that growth of saying I'm not trying to judge. Look oh, at, okay. See? <laughs> oh, I saw it in real time. Oh, I saw it in real time. Oh, okay. Oh, I saw it in real time. Oh, you received. Okay. Okay, okay well, listen, y'all gonna be on the right path. That just gave me hope right there. <laughs> I wish y'all all the best of luck, sincerely. I Thank really you. hope. Is this friendship? Can y'all kind of mend back? Y'all yes. yes. good? Okay, give your friend a hug. Yeah, good. Give your friend a hug. There y'all go. <laughs> Want more Unlocked Phones, DNA Reveals, and Family Drama? Then make sure you're subscribed to The Karamo Show YouTube.